Yeah, no, this is definitely uh, something you can't really prepare for. I mean, obviously, the world's going through a little bit of a tough time right now. Um, for me, you know, unfortunately, I'm by myself. Uh, my family is home in the States and my, my girlfriend's in a different city. So uh, I'm just hanging out here. I've been reading a lot, playing video games from time to time, trying not to be watching TV all day. Um, luckily, the club did a great job. They brought us a bunch of stuff to work out with. So I got a bike, some weights, some bands, and just trying to do that and trying to eat as healthy as possible. You know, trying to use this time to kind of better myself. Um, I don't know, as best as I can, trying to make it positive in the situation. a lot i mean just every day you know having having basketball you know in your life just touching the ball shooting it practicing all that stuff i miss all of it uh especially miss your league just because you know even if you're not playing a game you get to watch all these games and this is we're, we're getting to the exciting point of the season where you know we're fighting for playoffs and every game means something and i think all of us are really looking forward to you know hopefully making a push to make the playoffs and uh it's unfortunate that it's you know we're in the situation we are in right now It's hard. It's hard. I mean, uh, I, I think, you know, like I said, it really helps having the bike and all that kind of a little bit of weight stuff they gave us. Uh, otherwise, I would be I'd be losing my mind. You know, if I didn't if I didn't get to sweat or, you know, just like feel like I did something, uh, I, I can't really I'm not the kind of person that can really just like sit and do nothing all day. So, uh, like you said, though, cutting cold turkeys, it's, it's kind of been hard. I'm worried about uh, some people getting a uh, a little bit gaining a little bit of weight in this period so i'm not trying to be one of those guys <laughs> you know i've read a couple books but like what i'm reading right now is called uh can't hurt me it's by a navy seal named uh, david goggins it's pretty interesting he's got a really interesting story and i just think it's you know it's good as far as like motivation and just kind of he talks about coming over like overcoming mental barriers and i think that you know as an athlete that some, reading stuff like that really kind of uh keeps me interested Another one I, I, I read, I read from time to time is a Mind Gym. It's a sports psychology book that talks, you know, you know, really just helps you with different perspectives and just kind of realizing that the, you know, the, the like I guess like the, the mental health in sports is you know maybe more important than the physical. So uh, just kind of working on the mental, working on my mental game, like I said before, just trying to work on myself a little bit now, um, being in this time where you can't really do anything. To be honest, I don't, I, my hobby would be fishing, so it's impossible to do right now. Um, but just really just trying to, I would say, get closer with my family. You know, usually they're really busy. They're working. I can't talk to them much. So uh, just FaceTiming them as much as possible and really just, I, I'm not doing anything too exciting. I, I, if you have any suggestions, I would love to hear suggestions of things to do. I mean, I've been Googling things to do in quarantine and you can only throw so many socks into a, into a, a make-believe basket. Hopefully, hopefully I can get a little better at Spanish as well. I've been putting that off for a while. I've been living in Spain for too long not to be speaking better Spanish. So uh, if, I don't, if I don't come out of this speaking at least a little bit of better Spanish, I think I think my girlfriend will kill me. So I got I to gotta work on that. <laughs> be safe out there. This is a, you know, this is a we're, we're definitely a different situation we're going through. Um, but we're going to get through this. And, you know, I think we're going to, as long as we stay together, we're smart about this. Stay inside, be smart about the situation, because the sooner we, you know, it's not, not ideal to be staying inside, but the sooner we do it, the sooner we just follow what the public uh, health system is saying, the sooner we'll, this will all be over and uh, we'll go outside and do normal things again. But uh, I think the important thing is to try to just stay positive and to know that we will, we will get through this and we'll come out stronger than ever.